Hey everyone, what's up? It's John here from Double Buff, and I'm here to put a few finishing touches on the walkthrough of the Final Fantasy X HD Remastered version we did a few months back. Cody's off to college now, so unfortunately he can't be a part of these videos, but maybe we'll see him back here for the Dark Aeon fights that we'll be doing after the Celestial Weapons Guide. But before that, you have to get the Celestial Mirror which I'll be showing you how to do in this video. To start things off, you'll have to get a chocobo from the chocobo trainer in the Calm Lands. You may have to train one first with her, but it isn't that hard, you just have to follow her instructions. After you have a chocobo, head to the right of the Calm Lands entrance and activate the feather to reach the lower area where there's a pathway off to the right to go to Remian Temple. Once you've made your way in there, uh, you have to cross an extremely long bridge and head to the left. There will be a chocobo, a sphere, and a primer over here. Activate the sphere and it'll start to tell you a long story of chocobos racing each other and challenges and whatnot. And, you know, being the chocobo king, who cares. After that, you'll have to make your way all the way around Remian Temple to get to the other chocobo. The race here is pretty straightforward, it's the first one to the center wins, and in the first victory that you get, you get the Cloudy Mirror, no matter what. Along the way in the race, you may notice some poles and chests. You can race the Chocobo uh, Champion as much as you want, whenever you want. And so, in those races, after you've gained the Cloudy Mirror, touching the poles counts as a penalty, and collecting chests counts as a bonus. At the end of the race, it'll tally things up and it'll affect the item that you get for winning that race. Now that we have the Cloudy Mirror, we have to go talk to the woman and the child at the entrance of Makalania. She will say that her husband is missing and that they can't find him. You go to the right here. And you'll want to go past the intersection that leads to Bravel. Then we'll find a four-way intersection. You want to take the north entrance here. It'll lead to the place where we camped out after the second steam war fight. And there will be the person that you're looking for to the right. You want to talk to that person and you'll tell them that their family's over there. Not pointing in a single specific direction at all. The guy will then run off, follow him, and you'll see him and his wife at the front entrance of Makalania where you talk to the wife and the child. But now the boy is missing. Uh, once you talk to both of them, you'll have to then follow the colored path that's new to Makalani. I wasn't there when you first went through it. At the first three-way intersection, you'll want to head north to a special mysterious looking tree. Talk to the boy standing in front of that tree, and he'll begin to talk about it and say something very powerful. You'll then get the option to use the cloudy mirror here. You'll want to say yes to that, and you'll have the celestial mirror. Now that we have the Celestial Mirror, we have acquired the way to collect and power up all the ultimate weapons for each character. But with each weapon, there are three stages to powering it up all the way. You have to first acquire the weapon, and then acquire both the crest and the sigil for that said weapon. And then you will have to take them back to this tree and activate them with the Celestial Mirror, powering them up. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And I'll be bringing you the Celestial Weapons guides for each character as soon as I can. 